Welcome back to The Ed Show. Mitt Romney is having so much fun talking out of both sides of his mouth, it's a wonder he finds time to eat. Yesterday in New Hampshire, he went back to a lie about the economy under President Obama. Well, there's no question but that the, the, the recession uh, was made deeper and more painful for more Americans by virtue of the uh, president's plans. The recovery has been slower and, uh, and more painful for millions of Americans because of the president's failures. Uh, he, um, he made the recession worse and the recovery more anemic. We face extraordinary challenges right now. Our president has failed us. The recession is deeper because of uh, our president. Uh, it's uh, seen an anemic recovery because of our president. You know, I could never go to a Republican rally because I'd be screaming at what I just heard. First of all, Romney can't decide whether to focus on the recession or the anemic recovery because he's been forced to admit a recovery has been underway. And for saying the recession was made deeper and more painful because President Obama, it's factually wrong. He's lying. We've shown Romney's claim to be false as have other news outlets. That's why Romney tried to backtrack on it last week. I didn't say the things are worse. What I said was that the economy hasn't turned around. Ooh, a little wordsmithing going on here. He actually tried to say he never said it, so we have to keep rolling the tape. Here's more. The Obama administration has not been able to deal with the number one issue that the country was concerned about as he, he became president, which was the economy. He, he did not cause the recession. But he made it worse. Barack Obama has failed America. When he took office, the economy was in recession. And he made it worse. And he made it last longer. What this president has done has slowed the economy. He didn't create the recession, but he made it worse and longer. 15 months of private sector job growth is making it worse. What school did you go to, Mitster? But of course, Mitt is now back to saying Obama made the recession deeper. The Mitster isn't tied down by the facts. And when he was in Allentown, Pennsylvania last week, he actually said this. We are uh, standing on the side of the Allentown Metalworks. Uh, this was the place that President Obama visited about a year and a half ago and indicated that this was a symbol of the success of his stimulus program. And as you look around and see the weeds growing and the windows boarded up, you could recognize that it's more a symbol of the failure of Obama economic policies. This, of course, from the man who, as governor of Massachusetts, presided over a state that was 47th out of 50th in job creation. Let's bring in the former foreman of that Allentown Metal Works uh, facility, John Harold, and also the mayor of Allentown, Pennsylvania, Ed Pulowski. Gentlemen, great to have you with us tonight. John, let's start with you. I'd like to hear from you first. Were you the foreman at that plant? And can you tell us why it closed? When did President Obama, was he responsible for that? Uh, first of all, I wasn't the foreman. Uh, I w worked in quality control there for 16 years, and I worked in the machine shop for another 22 years. And I was also the uh, unit president of the steel workers there. Okay. Uh, did, I mean, Mitt Romney is blaming this plant shutting down on President Obama. Do you agree with that? No, I don't agree with that. Uh, at this point, uh, this is business as usual, putting the blame on somebody else. And uh, at, at this point, you just can't blame anybody. Mayor Pulaski, Governor Romney has a uh, political ad of himself uh, at this uh, Allentown plant. But, but is there more to the recovery in Allentown that you'd like to tell us? Sure. I mean, first off, Ed, we don't we don't appreciate uh, Mr. Romney using uh, the closing of this plant as a political prop. Uh, there has been so many good things that have happened as a result of the intervention of President Obama and uh, former Governor Rendell. We had tremendous job growth here in the state. Uh, over 15,000 jobs have been created in Pennsylvania alone uh, as a result of the Recovery Act. 44,000 within the last year. Uh, in Allentown, at this very site, at right across the street, we had a new plant open up. 100,000 square 
square feet industrial building that employs about 130 people. We had an old Mack truck facility, which is right behind this plant, that is now fully occupied with three new businesses. One that makes tactical water systems for uh, the military, another one that's manufacturing steel, uh, and another one that's actually doing uh, form structures manufacturing. So there's a lot of manufacturing uh, still going on here, and e even in the general vicinity uh, that Mr. Romney uh, did his press conference. But what's really ironic is that it, the region as a whole is, is one of the fastest growing regions in the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, it, is, uh, it has declined in, 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 its, in its job loss. In fact, we're about 8.4% lower than the national average. Uh, and Mack Truck even, uh, you know, has, which has been a symbol of some of the, the recession's decline, actually added uh, 125 jobs within the last year. All right. So, uh, Mayor Pulaski, what do you make of Mitt Romney standing in front of that plant saying that that plant is shut down because of President Obama? Well, I think it's wrong. I mean, you know, I understand why he's flip-flopping. He's flip-flopping because he's wrong. Uh, and, you know, if you just look at his, his statements, he has to backtrack because he was wrong on the facts. He's wrong about the facts in this particular plant. He's wrong about the facts, and he's, he's tainting the city of Allentown and the entire region. He's wrong on the facts there. He's wrong on the facts of Pennsylvania. He's wrong on the facts about this country. You've said it yourself many times. We've added jobs, over 238,000 manufacturing jobs have been added since 2009 uh, in this country. I don't know where Mitt Romney is getting his statistics, uh, but he better start uh, getting his facts straight. If he really wanted to help this company, maybe part of his platform should be that he should stop the, the shipping of foreign steel into this country, and that would help smaller uh, metal manufacturing companies like Allentown Metalworks. But I don't see that as part of his platform either. Do you? Well, I don't. And I was going to ask you as a mayor, have you heard anything from Mitt Romney give you any kind of confidence that he would bring forward any kind of economic policy that, say, Allentown, Pennsylvania could look forward to. What have you heard from him? No, I, I haven't heard anything about his economic policy. Have you? I mean, he hasn't really put forth what his policy would be. You know, when, when you're in a glass house, it, it, you probably shouldn't be throwing stones. I mean, you just quoted the fact right before uh, this segment. He ranked 47 out of 50 states under Mitt Romney's leadership. That was Massachusetts. 47 out of 50 in job growth. He, I mean, the only ones that were further behind him were, were Michigan, Ohio, and Louisiana, two Rust Belt states, and yeah. one that was, was hit by a hurricane. Okay. So so, I mean, he has no policy, he has no track record to, to basically stand there in front of this plant and talk about that he's going to bring jobs because, you know, he, manufacturing jobs in Massachusetts under Mitt Romney was, was twice that below the national average. Uh, and so, you know, if you look at what the president has done, that our president has done over the course of the last couple of years, building jobs, bringing jobs to Pennsylvania, uh, mostly because of, of the Stimulus Act, uh, you know, we have seen tremendous growth yeah. right here in Allentown. We got, we got a new $80 million bridge going up. We got a new arena being built. We have this massive growth in the healthcare industry, and we have manufacturing jobs that are now coming back. It sounds good uh, to me. And, and for him to sit there and say that 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 you know that 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 this is a part of the decline is just erroneous. John Harold and Allentown Mayor Ed Pulaski, great to have you with us tonight. Thanks so much. Republicans keep saying President Thank you, Obama's. Thank you. you bet, President. Uh,